everyone and welcome to PM Creations. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, I want to start off by saying Happy New Year to everyone and I hope everyone's doing well out there. Um, I know it's been a month and a half but I'm just, it's been a busy uh, month and a half so far. Uh, so it's the month of February and I've been itching to do some art uh, all January uh, long. I've just been so busy but I am ready to get started. The first thing I want to do actually is I would like to introduce you to one of the creatures in my house. Um, I got, uh, I have a rabbit uh, who is about a year old now um, and I would like to introduce him in the video today to you guys and also I am going to get his help to do today's art. Uh, project as well. So if you remember I think last year about a year ago in January I did Creature January um, and in it I introduced my our cat uh, Samson to you guys and he chose the items um, the features to create a creature for that challenge and I am going to bring that back so I have the vials I used uh, last time, the nine of them, but but to sort of up the ante a little bit, I have another set of vials this time. So altogether I have 18 <laughs> bottles. Um, and what we're going to do is, what I'm going to do is similar to what I did with Samson last time, I'm going to first of all introduce you to my rabbit and he is going to choose a few vials for me to create uh, a new creature with. Um, so I guess first of all I want to say um, my rabbit's name is Darian. He's a black and white I think Dutch rabbit. Um, and uh, yes yeah, so I'm excited for you guys to come along with me. Uh, so just a quick recap of what how this works. So these are little messages in a bottle files and um, on each one I wrote a different feature of a creature's. You will have Darian choose our our vials to work with. Okay. Wish me luck. So this is how I have it set up. Um, I put a kibble, not a kibble, like a little piece of treat in front of each of the vials. Um, and they're quite random, randomly placed. I don't know how it's going to go down, so we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll just go for the first row first. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to try to get uh, five files to use for our drawing this time. So that's going to be exciting. Okay, so I'm going to introduce Darian uh, to you guys and I will get him to pick five. Okay, one sec. Okay, hi Darian. Say hello to everybody. Hey. Alright, we're gonna go here bud. Okay, definitely that one. You dropped it. Oh. He didn't eat that one yet. Okay, he dropped that one, so I'm going to take it as a yes. He went for this one. Okay. He started eating this one. Okay. Okay, I'm surprised he didn't actually go for the first view. That's it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. There he goes. Okay, so that's the last one. There's the five. Just gonna. Thanks, Darian. Here's a little bunny ASMR for you guys. There's some more leaf. 
Alright, you earned it. That was actually quite fast. Yeah, it was quite fast. Uh, I'm still recording. So there's Darian. He is about a year and a few months now. Thanks, boy. There's a little piece of there. I broke down his little treats so that they're mini pieces. That way I don't end up giving him too many treats. But you earned it. goes. He's going to visit. No, oh, he's back. Thanks for all your help. You're so good. Thank you. No more bed. Okay. Thanks for all your help, Benjamin. Okay, all right, we have five vials. Oh, they have, okay, two pinks. I don't know what they are, but we'll find out. I'll see you at my desk. Anybody wondering? There's Samson, by the way. Okay, so. This one was much easier than the first time around. I think it's part of it was because I knew what to do um, and I kind of sort of how to set it up. Um, and second thing I think is that Darren is much more keen on getting treats. Um, okay, so these guys I'm going to put away. So Darian chose these five for us. Uh, two pink ones, a purple, and two like off, like brownish, off white colors. Um, so I am going to open these, and I mean we're going to open it together. We'll find out for the first time what Darian has chosen for us uh, to incorporate into today's drawing. Okay, here I go. Oh, I'm so nervous. Okay, I don't know what we're gonna get, but. Uh, here we go. Alright. I love these little um, messages in a bottle things. They're really cool. Oh! Okay. So I think this is from the first batch. Scales. Um, so that's interesting. And I think when I was l writing this at that time, uh, I was thinking like uh, fish scales, but now I'm also thinking of like the scales, like the two scales that like the Justice Lady holds, for example. So I mean, it's interesting. I can incorporate it in any way, I guess. So that's that's not bad. I can I can I can work with this. <laughs> this is also exciting. Okay, I'm gonna go for one of the pink ones. Oh, okay. So this is actually something I did today in today's batch. Long legs. <laughs> okay, so whatever this creature is going to be, it's going to end up having long legs. 
and scales in some capacity. Let's go for the other pink one. This is so much fun. I love this. Okay. This was from the first batch. Big ears. Okay. I can... Long legs, big ears, scales. Okay. Uh, I'm going to leave the purple to last. Let's do the last brown one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Wow, this is befitting of my rabbit, furry. Again, this was also from today's batch. Interesting, okay, long scales, long legs, big ears and furry. They seem to go hand in hand with the creature that selected these. That's interesting, okay. Um, And last but certainly not least, this purple one. Let's see what it is. Okay. Fire. And I think this was from today's batch. Yeah, I remember writing this. Interesting. Um, okay. I, I, I'm kind of getting some ideas in my head already. I don't know if you guys like are keeping up with this and if you have any ideas in your head. Um, I'm starting to get some ideas in my head already for this, but what we will do, what I will do is, um, this is what Darian chose for us, so we're gonna work with this. Um, I'm going to take a few moments and try to come up with some ideas of uh, what type of creature it's going to be and what I'm going to do with it. Last time uh, I did incorporate all three into one creature but this time around and you know in the future as well I'm thinking I'm just going to focus on it, not necessarily putting all of the features into the one creature it's just all of the features will show up in the drawing right so what do you think I mean let me know what you guys think and Obviously, if you're trying this at home as well, you're more than welcome to do it either way. If you end up doing this, I would love to see what you end up with uh, at the end of it as well. I'm excited to see what I'm going to end up with too. Um, so, okay, give me a few minutes and then we will, I will come back. Scales, long legs, big ears, furry fire. I like that, furry fire. It's so funny and appropriate that Darian chose big ears and furry uh, for us because he is a creature with big ears and fur right hmm. So I came up with a few options, I came, uh, this was like my first try, and then I came up with this guy, and a few little ones up here, and this one at last as well. So I, I think I'm going to end up doing this one as a final uh, piece, just because I like the, the movement that it portrays. Um, I will be drawing it on I'll be sort of transferring it onto the paper and then I'll show you like what it really looks like but basically ultimately it will look like um it's holding a a pair of scales uh, and it's like a kung fu fighting type of rabbit with big ears and long legs and um a lot of fur on it um so let me transfer it onto the big paper I'll be back So I have this rabbit, it's like a karate style rabbit um, that I've drawn. Uh, I don't know how it's going to end up looking, I'm just going to lighten up the, some of the pencil marks because it's pretty dark at this point in time, but uh, hopefully, hopefully something good will come out of it. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm just going to uh, erase the lines. I'll be right back. So 
So it's the next morning and I am getting ready to paint this bad boy. Um, I got my supplies ready. I'm going to... My plan is to work with gouache because uh, I, I like the colors in it and I think the vibrancy of it will be good on this and plus it's getting very dried up and I really want to use it up. Um, I did do a few... I put some colors into the little thumb sketch just... Um, to get an idea of what kind of colors I want to incorporate into this. But yeah, okay, so here I go. Uh, I hope everything goes well, so here I go. <laughs> Wish me luck.
ta-da! So this is the final product. Um, what do you guys think? I think it came out to be so adorable. Um, um, it just seems so timely that he ended up choosing f furry and big ears, which seems so appropriate because he was some, a creature that chose that as well. So um, I ended up actually ma making it a rabbit and I'll show you a quick close up of this for you guys. So it's a black and white rabbit with long legs, big ears, um, fur of course and um, scales. So I think it came out quite well. I used gold to create the scale and of course it's, it has fire on it. So this is, uh, when I was going, when I was painting this, I kept thinking in my head that this, um, I kept thinking in my head about uh, the Kung Fu Panda movies. By the way, Kung Fu Panda is one of my favorite cartoon animation um, franchise. Uh, I love the whole concept behind it, the storylines and all the, the um, three movies so far. And I also love, love Jack Black. He's like, he's super awesome. He's so good in it as well as a voice character. All the voices are really good. It's so well done. And um, so it's one of my like, favorites. Um, and every time when I was drawing this, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm thinking of like Kung Fu Panda. And I think, um, as far as I know, a new Kung Fu Panda movie, uh, number four, is coming up sometime uh, in the next year or so. So I'm really excited for that. And um, so yeah, so in my head I'm thinking like, this is Kung Fu Rabbit. <laughs> no, uh, no, I'm not trying to like um, infringe on copyrights or anything, but it just kept reminding me of that. Um, and the fact that he's like a martial arts rabbit uh, seems so appropriate. Uh, it would be so cool if I could see a character like this in the Kung Fu Panda movie. That would be awesome. Um, so yes, so I had so much fun uh, doing this um, and I think I'm going to end up calling him uh, I was thinking of also like names um, for this character as well and I really want to use like a Chinese name so in terms of a name for this character um, because he is this like Kung Fu martial arts uh, type of rabbit character um, and the fact that he's carrying scales and they have like fire bolts coming out of it. It's just this whole concept. It's kind of cool in my head. And um, I'm thinking I want to... Um, I was thinking like I want him to have something that shows his name to be uh, like a symbolic of what you're seeing, right? So I was kind of debating with like balance, scales, justice, something like that. So I think I want to, um, I ended up wanting to call him um, the Chinese word for uh, justice, which I I think I'm pronouncing this correctly, but I apologize in advance. Um, Shongyi, Shongyi, I think is the way you pronounce it, or Shongyi. Uh, but that's hit him, is the, the best I can think of right now. I think I'm going to call him Shongyi. The Kung Fu Rabbit. That has a ring to it. I like it. Um, what do you think? What do you guys think about the name as well as this character that I came up with today? Um, that, um, you know, thanks to the help of Darian's choices that uh, we end up making. Um, I am uh, really happy with the final product. Um, I wish I could kind of show you guys the close-ups. Like I ended up using gold. It's not that visible in the camera, unfortunately. But I'll take some pictures and um, uh, I'll post them on my Instagram for you guys to take a look at. But I'm quite proud of it. It was sort of um, <laughs> inspired my, by my rabbit in many ways than one. Um, and yeah, this is. Shang Yi, the 
Kung Fu Rabbit. <laughs> Alright. Um, so, yes. And... What else can I say? And uh, I don't know if I mentioned this as well at the beginning of the video when I was recording, but um, this year, uh, year 2023, is also the year of the rabbit, right? Uh, according to the Chinese zodiac. So uh, if you guys uh, celebrate uh, the, the year of the rabbit, uh, you know, Happy New Year for everyone there. Um, but I think it kind of fell into place that I decided to do this for this year because I wanted to introduce my rabbit to you guys as well, um, Darian. And I also, uh, this is the first video of the year uh, for me as well. Um, and Darian ended up choosing things that correspond really well with this character somehow or rather. Um, so I think it kind of fell into place in some weird nice way. Um, let me know what you guys think about everything that you saw today and if you guys also followed the prompts um, I would like to I would love to see what you guys end up coming up with um, with these five prompts specifically um, if it's similar to this or something very different I would love to see either way if you end up trying to do this as well I would love to see the final products so please do um, um, tag me on Instagram and share your stuff with me. I would love to uh, take a look at them. <laughs> uh, but otherwise, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Um, I want to start uh, also saying this year uh, that um, if you want to follow along with me on my art journey, um, I hope you uh, subscribe and like and comment uh, on my videos and I will see everyone again next time. Bye everyone. Let's see what Jane